Smoke and ashes are what is left after fire swept through this vibrant neighborhood. Esther Menu is one of many people who lived in this settlement. She says fire has destroyed everything she has acquired. Many people who were affected tell us they had lost goods worth hundreds of cities in their stores. Oh, Master Martin's day is almost billions of billions because it's full, it's full container. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't take any one thing. My fridges, my some provisions near there, and the provisions, no provisions near there, and the need in Ashi. Everything cry, me buy a man fast, me for BB womb, BB Ashi. Provisions, they own him how it costs a lot now. Almost 300 million over the Ashi. Some of the affected persons allege that the fire was started by some unknown persons as a retaliatory attack on another group. The fire service managed to get to the scene. This morning at 10:21, uh, we received a stress call that a fire break at uh, Ray's Junction, close to Red Co Flats. DCFO Alhaj Jibril Nuhu is the deputy regional fire commander for the region. The first appliance was dispatched, and in seven minutes, it has arrived at the fire scene and started firefighting. So in all five appliances were commanded to fight the fire and by 11, uh, 43 we were able to bring the fire under control. Investigation is still ongoing and that is the situation we find ourselves. There's no, there was no casualty and uh, no death was recorded. These shelters once served as their homes and funded their livelihoods. But today they have been displaced. The residents are counting their losses and praying for help so that they can rebuild. For Joy News, Michael Ashale.